pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They're going to try it. Here's Flacco. Caught by Jones. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense. They can't get the stop here. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a handoff here to his running back. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Another carry, same story. Fourth quarter, and he is in red numbers right now with a running game. Hard to believe because you figure at some point you break off a run, but in this case, what we're seeing is just pure domination by the defense. I think it started with the scouting report. They got into what they were doing offensively, into their mindset, and now they're beating them to the punch on every snap. Here's second and 10. Passing play, Flacco. Jones has it, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. John Harbaugh going to roll the dice. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. He needed two. He barely got back to the line of scrimmage. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. So the failure to convert no doubt really hurts, but this one's not over. A good chunk of time on the clock and the timeouts. Yeah, not only do they have the timeouts, as you just noted, they're going to get an extra one with the two-minute warning, and that's going to help them big way. So in a sense, they have four timeouts in their pocket. The big thing, stopping them on defense now. They can't let them get a first down and make them use their timeouts and get a fresh set of downs. They've got to stop them right here, and if so, they've still got an opportunity. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. 
They'll run. Here's Harris. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. And defensively, Baltimore's in a dime look here on third. Looking to throw. Bradshaw. Oh, he's going to go for it all. And that will be incomplete. Oh, he left that one in a bad spot, but fortunately it's just an incompletion and not picked to bring up fourth down. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Averaging 50 yards a boot so far as this one's away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. And this one complete to Smith. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. They had to get it away from their end zone somewhere, but still a long way to go. Had to start somewhere. That's probably the best outcome possible. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Flacco. He finds Bolden. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A big connection on that one. 31 yards. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to him in open space. Let them do what they do. Flacco, a veteran in these situations, hurrying his guys up. Setting to throw. Flacco. Throw right side is complete to Andrews. His tight end. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. They drive some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. The Ravens moving quickly here as the clock runs. Pressure mounting. Flacco looking downfield for Jones. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. These are the spots this stage of the game where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does, and in the second quarter, he may very well run by him, but in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Flacco to throw. And this is going to be pulled in by the tight end, Andrews. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? 
possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.